Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. The message you have just heard from the vessel Marilyn, who at the moment sits to my left, is my message. If you want to analyze channeling in general, the messages of source in general, in this new energy, you're going to find those words. You're going to find those perceptions and those instructions in all of them. This is what separates the channeling of old and today's. Something we may discuss later today. But the vessel Maryland has brought up something that we wish to now enhance. I've called it the spark. Let me take you somewhere. We've mentioned this subtly before. I'm going to take you to a place you've been before, dear ones, and you will go to again. I don't want, I don't want this place to be a sad place. I want this to be a joyful place. But I'm going to describe it as your last breath. I'd like to say something, and it can't always be said, that everyone in this room is an old soul. And what I mean by that is that there's no newbie here. All of you have been to this planet before. Some of you are ancient. But all of you have had many lives. It's what brings you in this place to the realization of wanting to sit and listen to this message. What happens in your last breath, I'm going to call the spark. There is a point at which you remember everything. That last breath, whether it's the instant of it or a bit longer, it doesn't matter. The spark arrives. After your last breath, the, the linearization of life stops. Because the consciousness that leaves your body is a multidimensional, beautiful, magnificent consciousness. And that spark, if you want to call it a spark, is you going, <gasps> oh, oh, thank you. And you remember it all. And you realize the magnificence of the soul that you are. You realize that you've just passed through another life again. You're always aware of all of it. And this is where it gets complicated because a piece and a part of that soul stays on the planet. A piece and part goes to the other side if you want to call it that. A piece and a part stays with your loved ones. It's a multidimensional aspect. We've spoken about it. That's not what we're speaking of. We want to talk about the spark. Oh. That's the spark. There is a moment, dear ones, when you're no longer human. When you remember everything. Can you imagine seeing beyond light? Can you imagine hearing the songs of the universe and seeing the light in the songs? Can you imagine at that moment being greeted by the multitudes who sing your name and say, welcome back home? Indicating perhaps this was a side trip. Well, here's what's going on. Attributes of that spark are being advanced. And what I mean is this. I'm going to redefine ascension. Because there are so many who have said, well, is this the age of ascension? Will we start seeing human ascension? When's it going to happen? Because I've heard all about this. We're going to disappear and go here and there. And I'll say, dear ones, you are listening to children's stories about what someone expected to see who had no idea of the majesty 
and the splendor of the truth. Ascension is when a living human being has a piece of a spark. And at some point in their lives, there is a realization all at once. <gasps> oh my. And they realize they are magnificent in the eyes of God. And that love means more than they ever thought when they learned the word in school. When they start to equate things with integrity and compassion and the energies therein mean more than they ever did before where they see connections to things and they understand the field and how they're all connected and how beautiful the plan is not a system the plan that would connect you in ways to others that are not just loving but that are practical and make sense they start to, to see their own bodies differently and realize that that their age has nothing to do with how they feel they step out of all the realities that their parents told them that their church told them that their friends told them and they look backwards and see that a piece and a part of all those realities are true especially the ones about the love of God but they start to understand the universality of it, the enormity of it, and the fact that they're right in it as humans walking the planet, as ascended humans with a spark. It's not the same spark that you get when your last breath, dear ones. It's a modified one. It's one of awareness that goes way beyond anything any epiphany you've ever had, a spark of awareness of who you are. When you look in the mirror in your hand <laughs> and you start seeing something you didn't expect, and then the questions start to be answered. Dear Spirit, is it really true that I'm not here by accident? Dear Spirit, is it really true that I'm not here to be victimized in this world? Dear Spirit, can I really control chance? And all of these things have a resounding yes, dear one, you can. Yes, dear ones, you are. That's the spark. You see it so clearly between human beings, even in a meeting like this. There will be so many, especially in the large meetings who will come in a curious way, to see what's up. The others will come because they are meditators and they want to feel the energy. Others will come for simple curiosity and no more. And they have no interest in metaphysics and some will come for life change. And there they sit. Doesn't matter where they are in an audience, the back row, the front row. And it's so interesting to watch because one will have the spark and they'll understand it and hear it and see it and cognize it because of something they're ready for and they'll hear the truth and they'll know the truth and they'll ring with the truth and they'll understand the spark and here it comes oh and they'll hear the music in some way the music of the universe that says their name is important and they're here for a reason. And then they start to see the abilities to heal themselves and that's why they came. And so one will sit there with the spark, with tears running down their cheeks and they'll have a healing right there. If you could see an interdimensionality and you had a lens of a quantum sight, you'd see them glow at that moment because the Merkaba is all being changed. And right next to them, there may be someone already composing a letter of complaints about the meeting. That's the difference, dear ones. That's the spark. And it's being advanced. And what I mean by that is that whereas 
There was a day when the spark was only available at the last breath. Now old souls are starting to see it and use it. And you can tell. Because they receive a joy factor. And the joy factor means that wherever they are and whatever they're doing, they can laugh. If they receive news that is, that is grievous and sad for them personally, they can smile immediately and go for the things that they are so appreciative of at the meeting, at, at, at that, that, that time and perhaps that meeting where they're in. If they receive personal information only for them, that makes their heart sad. The death of a friend, for instance. They can smile immediately and say, this is a good thing. Because that friend of mine got the spark. <laughs> that friend of mine knows how important they are in the universe. And they didn't think that before. My friend is magnificent. Your consciousness sees things differently. When you have that advanced spark, when you go into an ascended consciousness, you see others differently. You see situations differently. You're slow to anger and fast to laugh. This is what we speak of and have for 30 years. The changing human. But the vessel Marilyn said it best. You can have it. You can see yourself. You can start to understand yourself simply and easily because it's available now. The words you speak to yourself are very meaningful, dear ones. All of these things are part of the teachings that we have in these days. But I want you to remember the spark. This is the big one. And it's coming to more and more of you in so many different shades and ways. It's an awakening to a grand awareness of something bigger than you ever thought you were. Loved dearly in the eyes of God. More than you ever were told you were. And magnificent on this planet. And so it is.